Okay, here I am. I'm going to be using the Sofal 3D brand new SL2. I've already got the SL1 over here, which you can't see right now. It's not on camera, but it's the SL1 for curing these. But the SL2 is their brand new uh, deal to clean the prints. And I'm going to be doing that right now. So as you can see down here on the controls, uh, actually, I think I need to turn it on first. So you turn it on, on the back, and then I can set a timer for five, 10, or 15, or I can hit reset to reset it back. I think I'll go 10 minutes just to try it out, and then hit start. And you can see there's a agitator underneath there that'll get it started. It comes with a spare, um, a spare bearing so that you, so if the bearing goes out, you can replace it. Um, unlike some of them, it's got a bigger, like a fan type deal. So it actually can, it actually, um, agitates, I think pretty well. You can see the top right here, or you can see here and around here, you can actually see it agitating the surface of the alcohol and it's got a good seal on the top. Uh, you can see here where it seals it, um, on the back, obviously, so you can't see it really well, but on the back, you can seal it. Uh, so that works pretty, that's pretty cool. Uh, it does have the ability, you've got this deal here, so you can actually hook on your uh, bed and put it in there. It does not work on the um, Elegoo uh, Mars Pro 2, though. That is one issue with it. Um, so it will not work for that. It, it works for the kinds of beds that would slip over this that slip over that, uh, and that's not the Elegoo bed, nor is it the Frozen um, mini bed. So that really won't work for those two, and it is fully adjustable, so you can uh, put it in and adjust the height of the bed if it, you had one that worked. Um, and then this goes on the back right up here. This is the back of the basket. It actually sits on the top of the basket. There's a little knockout in the center and it'll hang in there. Now, I realized after I started trying to get these done that I don't have quite enough material in here to do this whole thing. So I'm gonna actually, actually, while this is going, I think I'm gonna flip these over. Let's just pop this up. So I don't know if it's going back and forth or what it's doing there, but that's the second time I've heard it stop. And that wasn't me that caused it to do that. There we go. It's re-snapped on. So um, I think you can see the agitation even better now. So that's what it does. Uh, it'll agitate for a few minutes. I'm going to let it do its thing. And then I will plop these out. So these models... Oh, and I just want to say too... Actually, and I'll put it on any video I post. This was sent to me from Sovala 3D for free. So this is not... Um, but they did not pay me for it. It's not a paid advertisement. Um, pretty much everything I've received from Sovol has been good quality. So I've been happy with it. I'll post a video with this, how it works. I'll probably post a video with the SL1 curing these. And then these partic this particular model is from Dragon uh, Workshop. And it's the Beholho Holder. It's a Christmas-themed beholder that looks pretty cool. Um, I picked up his previous, I think it's called Holiday of Horrors, and you can get them both on my mini factory. And once I upload this to YouTube, I'll put links in the description so you can get to all of that stuff. I'll have links to this probably on Amazon and the Soval uh, 3D site. Last I checked, this was, excuse me, actually sold out. So they're a little difficult to get. Um, I haven't installed it quite yet. And I actually started another print, so I'm not going to be installing it uh, today. But I also actually have a... Um, a bed to put on the Mars Pro 2, a flex bed, kind of like the Wham Bam style, but Soval actually is making their own now too. So I'm really looking forward to trying a flex bed. This, this will be my first flex bed on any printer I've ever had, whether it's um, um, resin or FDM. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you like learning about this. It's a nice, simple product. It's very inexpensive because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of some of them. Uh, but it's actually, it seems so far to be working pretty good. I think what I'm going to end up doing, I've got an ultra, a smaller-ish ultrasonic cleaner. And what I think I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to drain it of all the water. 
and I'll probably and and I've always used um, res or I've always used alcohol in baggies in there. And I think what I'm actually going to probably do now is I will use this to clean the resin off in the in the um, in here, and then I will move them. Uh, just use the ultrasonic cleaner with water to clean them off. And technically, this is a um, water washable resin. I don't actually need to use alcohol, but I figured since I was I already had it in here, I would try it. Um, but I think I'm going to probably on my ultrasonic cleaner, I'll probably put water in that pump up the temperature on it and that warm water agitating it should make it easier to pull the supports off of these models. So that's my plan. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on the SL2. I'll have a write up and do some more on it pretty soon on my website makerfun3d.com. And again, thank you to Suval3D for sending this out for me to test and play with.